Frank Sinatra, Audrey Hepburn, and Ava Gabor once called this Los Angeles mansion home. But the biggest star in this home's credits is the architect, Paul Revere Williams. The late Mr. Williams, a pioneering African-American architect who worked the biggest names in Hollywood, is back in the spotlight thanks to a number of recent posthumous awards. Now agents say that that name recognition can translate to a premium for home sellers. In Los Angeles' Homeby Hills, this 7,000 square foot Georgian Colonial Revival was listed for $13.995 million, about a million dollars more than last year thanks in part to the Williams pedigree. The owner, Mag Black, bought the home for $2.1 million in 1996 from the estate of actress Ava Gabor. The foyer and curving grand staircase, a hallmark of Williams' designs, is decorated with a Baccarat chandelier. The sitting area, once a screening room for Hollywood producer Buddy Adler, still includes a hidden room for film reels behind the bookcase. In Ontario, California, a very different Williams home is expected to list for around $1 million, about 400,000 more than comparable homes in the area. Built around 1947, the mid-century modern home has floor-to-ceiling glass and woodwork by renowned craftsman Sam Maloof. The seller bought the home for $435,000 in 2004 and has kept the space nearly unchanged. In the Los Feliz neighborhood of Los Angeles, John Sweeney bought his 6,000 square foot Williams-designed Mediterranean for almost $2 million in 2003. Mr. Sweeney had the 1927 home designated a Los Angeles cultural monument, effectively making it more difficult for the home to be demolished. It has special resonance for Mr. Sweeney, who was an African-American civil rights attorney. For decades, only white homebuyers were allowed to purchase homes in this area. He has no plans to sell, he said, but should his family decide otherwise, there are protections in place. As he says, I wanted to make sure that nobody can take down these walls. <laughs>